This is your weekly trip to paradise, Louisiana style, with Gary Rasponi. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K, Murphy Law Firm, Veterans Help Foundation, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Louisiana Fish Fry Products, Demco, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament, Louisiana State Parks, Relief Windows, Visit Baton Rouge, and by Farm Bureau Insurance. Welcome to Paradise, Louisiana. We're coming to you today from Superior Bait and Tackle on Segan Lane. I'll be your host today, Morgan Babin. And Mr. Gary, you kept your promise. You got me on TV. That's right. And you did kept your promise. You showed up and you made a super shot on that deer last week. And uh, Perfect. I tell you what. Yeah, go ahead. I, you might, it was perfect. Perfect uh, shot. So I hadn't shot in 20 years, so I don't make any excuses, but I had a barred gun. You were a joy to be around. Thank you. It's hard to believe you're not but 14 years old and you're a freshman at Denham Springs High School. Yes, sir. Uh, how much you love the outdoors and after talking to your stepmother and your dad and everybody, you, you, you're a joy to be around. Thank you. I hope when you do host your own show, you know the biggest problem uh, hosting your own show? Talking on camera. No, you do. You're too beautiful. You're good at that. What's hard is sponsors. So yes. As soon as you help me get a few more sponsors, you make me some sponsors, and you can be on here all you want till you get out of school. All right. You I'm might ain't be able to do it while you're in school. I think I could do that. Yeah, that's how we got you today. It's part of your education, the privilege of education. Denham Springs High School, Walker High School, Live Oak. Uh, I'm gonna have a principal on here today. You know, he knows what these high schools are doing nowadays are letting kids work in the field they want to be in while yes, they're sir. in school. So let's talk about hunting and fishing. Yes, sir. Now, we got a busy show for you this week. I finally got to make a fishing trip. Really? With, with my former co-host, Chef KD. Went to Delacroix, one of his favorite places. Uh, thanks to... Uh, the, the head guide over there, Mr. Jack Payne, he gave us a call because the specs finally showed up. Redfish have been there. Uh, so we, we made a good trip. He had two friends ahead, and uh, they did well. I took some good video, <laughs> and I caught a few fish, but not many. You know, when we come back, uh, we got a fishing report and a hunting report, not long, but we're gonna spend our day. I got Gene Hoover here today. Uh, Gene is running uh, the Louisiana Bass Masters Louisiana High School Circuit. Uh, he's the president. They started their first tournament. We got a bunch of tournaments came this past week. We had the, our guys from Perryville and the surrounding area fish the elite. We had the hmm, how you say that a fishers of men tournament. I think he fished the media tournament and then the high school tournament. So we have a lot of tournament reports today. I'm gonna try to hurry up and get out. When we come back, she's taking over. Talk about her. There's no better way to cool down this summer than with a delicious thirst-quenching Polar Pop Cup from Circle K. The Polar Pop Cup is the coolest way to beat the heat. Fill your Polar Pop Cup up with the flavors you crave and crushed or cubed ice. Nothing stays cold longer, so you can stay refreshed all day long. Stop in Circle K today for an ice-cold Polar Pop Cup. Polar Pop Cup, only at Circle K. Take it easy. For the thirsty, for those who hang out in packs, for heroes, for sidekicks, for those who see the glass half empty, for those who see it half full, for those on the right, for those on the left, for those with nicknames, for those with curves, for people that cycle, for people that recycle, for BFFs, for frenemies, for those with style, for lovers, for families, for big families, for everyone.
Welcome back to the Field of Bait and Tackle in Sagan Lane, and welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. Morgan, uh, I said before, I, I had a pleasure. I love being around people that are young hunters, first-time hunters, first-time yes, deer killers. You're not. You're 14 years old, but you're almost a veteran. Yes, your, sir, your I am. Your dad has brought you up in the woods, brought you up in the outdoors. What do you like so much about hunting? I like being in the woods where there's nothing, you don't have to worry about anything. There's no worries, you can spend time hunting and fishing, and even with the family. Family is out there, you have nothing to worry about, no cares. You know, as far as your dad is concerned, I understand. He was telling me there's nothing like quality time with the kids and being right. in a deer stand, a fishing boat. Right. And, and, and he, he reveled in being there himself. Mm-hmm. Now, how important is it to you to spend that much time? Your dad is busy, you in school, spend that much time with your dad. It's very important. You know, he, he is working to support all of us, and he doesn't always get time to spend time with us. But when he does, it's very, very important to us. <laughs> when you talk to your friends at school, you play volleyball. Yes, sir. Okay, you're an athlete. Uh, you can probably be anything you want. You could be a model. You can be a, uh, <laughs> a dancer, a cheerleader. You can be anything you want. Yes, no sir. doubt about it. But, you know, you, this, this your quality time is in the outdoors. It is. How, you, how do you tell other girls or your friends? How do you try to get them involved in hunting? You know, you can't make somebody do what they don't want to do. But to encourage them... You just have to show them how much fun it is. You know, feeding your family and taking a life, it's, it's very Different. close to home. It's something you should be proud of, you know? Yeah, it's a heritage. It, it is. Especially if you come from Livingston Parish, you know, all over the state of Louisiana, there's a heritage, but we pick on about Livingston Parish, yes, and that's sir. the way it is. So let, let, let me say this. You, in, in your mind right now, you don't think you're going to burn out on this, getting up early in the morning Never. and everybody else? Is, <laughs> Never. Sure? Promise. So your dream is to host or work for a company that you would host and they'll send you off to hunt and yes, make sir. videos. Yes, okay. sir. Uh, I hope you come back and do something with Paradise of Weezing, whether it's rabbit hunt, fishing, you know. There's a lot of things that Mr. Gary could use you on. Well, and, let's do and it. don't have to worry about teaching you anything. You let you go. Yes, sir. Your dad has done doing a great job. He did. Tell us about this last hunt we've been on. Tell me what you remember about this hunt, and uh, let's make a trip. So we had three hunts. We had one evening, one morning, and then we had another evening. The first evening, we, we watched seven deer come through the field. We watched them for about a good 10 minutes, you say. And we finally picked out the biggest doe, and I took her down. We walked up to her, perfect shot, perfect shot. Mr. Gary didn't think I hit it. He didn't see. Got it. You got it on. Did you hit it? Yeah, it's down. We'll no, shoot no, another no, one. Yeah, two, they're running toward each other. So, yeah, they're running no, off. No, no, I ain't no, even no, gonna no, try no, that. No, no, no. The second, the last day. The last I, day. I wanted somebody. I wanted to kill a, a deer. Yes. And I want to give you a chance. So you kill another. You didn't kill one that morning. Mm -hmm. You could kill another doe. He still had a 10, 15 doe that was short, and they were yeah. hoping to kill some more. And uh, when you manage property real good, and you, and you'll see why they say conservation. If yes. you got one animal, coyotes. You got things that are overrunning your property, you, you need to clean them out. Yeah. Uh, it's the same thing with geese. Okay, yes. right now, we had a bad goose season. Mm -hmm. A few years ago, they begged us to kill every snow geese that we could kill because they were eating themselves out of home yeah. up in Canada. Yeah, overpopulation. That's it. So you, you really have to do this. We can really be conservationists. But dogs, I'm telling you what. They save, they don't waste no wildlife. No. When you wound one, it's 
Sometimes you couldn't find them, or you would find them later. You might get your horns back, but you lose the, the meat. meat. Mm -hmm. But even when you lose one, you feed the coyotes. Uh, on you're the right. Podcast. So, so let's talk about the rest of this hunt. You went that evening. What about that other hunt? That evening, me and my dad sat in the stand, and we saw about five doe come out, and we finally found the biggest one. It was about 200 yards away, and I took her down. And Another good shot. Perfect shot. Two hundred. Perfect. It was perfect. Same place. Perfect shot. Same place. If they don't all scatter. Reload. And shoot again. You ready? Yes. Right there. Did she drop? Yeah, she's flopping around. Tremendous. I can't think of nobody I would rather hunt again with or be in a blind with. You you, you enjoy by the way you're smart, you make good grades. Yes, sir. And uh, you promise to be back? Promise. Sure. Pinky promise. Can I have a hug? Yes. Look at that. That's what makes you eat your heart out, all y'all guys in Denham Springs <laughs> and the rest of the world. This is a honey person, okay? She is the future of hunting in Louisiana. Hi, I'm John Jackson, and you know we always say we gather our groceries out the bayou. Whether it's freshwater, saltwater, catfish, redfish, you have tons of choices when it comes to fish in Louisiana. But when I fry fish, there's only one choice, and that's Louisiana fish fry. My new favorite, the Cajun fish fry, has the perfect amount of cornmeal, corn flour, and the perfect mix of spices that really bring the heat. Hey, if you're craving Cajun, go look for the bright red bag at your local grocers. Bring home the taste of Louisiana with Louisiana Fish Fry. I'm Brett Favre. As a quarterback in the NFL, if I didn't stay focused, I ended up on my back or worse. Even the smallest distraction could make a good play or offensive drive come to an end. When you're in a car, the smallest distraction could end much more than a drive. It could end someone's life. Just like I refuse to lose on the field, I refuse to lose someone I love to distract the driver. And you should too. Focus on the road. Don't drive distracted. A message from Farm Bureau Insurance. When my wife and I started Relief Windows, what our goal was to give a quality job to a homeowner. Everybody's scared of contractors. We wanted to change the mold of what that is. The reason why you should pick Relief Windows to do your renovation of your home, windows, doors, hardy planker siding, is because of the experience, quality, service of our company. We're gonna show up on time, we're gonna do the job right. The job's not done until you're happy and we're happy. We believe you deserve a quality job. I'm Robert Lejeune from Gonzales. Tell me your name, where you from? I'm Sandy Scallon from Gonzales, Louisiana. Tell me about, oh, tell me about all your fishing experience. I like to fish with Jeff KD and um, hoping we catch a lot of them today. What's your business? I'm a realtor with Vilar and Company Real Estate. Um, just, uh, just acquired by Weikert Real Estate. We're running in the fall, trimmed down so my nose is down. Only doing about 15 miles an hour. Standard map, map card is going to give me the trail to run, but I still don't know what's there. I'm taking my time. We had no hurry. I'm trying to run within five or six minutes. Grabber always catches traffic. Look at that bad chain seat. I know. Bad seat. Pretty good. I got pretty eyes. Not far than I thought. 8.30. Y'all seen Gary? I 9 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I know he got on board with us. He's on board somewhere. Somewhere. Just... 
new critic. Yeah. Boy, that was nice. He went the other way. What was it? Did you notice what the temperature was? Uh -oh. You, you want to get back here? I'm see? just going to get out of the way so I'm not casting you, everybody. Good fish, too. Good night, KD. Oh, fish off! Fish off! Fish off. <laughs> Come on, Katie. You talk to the fish, I can't control it. I we can make them bite, but I can't make them stay. I, I ain't been around you too, too much, but you ought to be do better than that. Hey, I had the first bite. Yeah. And I Sally, what's your favorite fish? Uh, specks. I like to catch a lot of specks. I, I had a girl from Buffalo, New York, get down here and all of a sudden become a, a bayou girl. That's right. Well, tell me how. My family moved south, 1976. Been fishing ever since. Anything goes out here. Well, not anything. There you go. Take your time. I don't know if we're gonna make it, but take your time. Oh man, you're not gonna make it. That's a pretty one. Uh -huh. She told us we could get all the bites we want, but you're gonna put the first one in your boat. That's right. She did, huh? There you go. You seen it live in the record. Paradise, Louisiana. 12 and 5 eggs. Fish, fish on. on. Keep her? Keep her? Yeah, I tell y'all, you go fishing with Gary, it's hard to keep a straight face because he got more stories and funny things than you can shake a stick at. Let me show you a little something I learned. With all these guys that have bad shoulders, watch, watch how I'm going to cast. Let me straighten up my little matrix shad here. All right? See, I'm bowing that rod right here. All right? I got it pitched. Yeah. About a 30-yard cast and no effort. Be my luck, I put it in my finger. There he comes. See on top. Another nice little. Hey, they're chunks though. Look how them long. Look how solid they look. That look old trout. How her do that? Look at that trout, man. That's right. That's her come just pick it. You can take me off your best friend list. Pop it very hard and then reel it real slow. Yeah, swing him in the boat. Nice little trout. Good trout. Look at the color, they're so white, they're different. Ah, uh, they are. They, they the water clear though, look how white those fish are. Number six. If the specs ain't biting, you catch fish, okay? It is, it is crazy. You talk about me being crazy. What's the limit on fishing? I don't think there is, hey. huh? Look at the boats here now. Look at the boats. Yeah, they're pretty fishing. 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 Yeah, they're pretty that's how pretty. There you go. What? There nice we go, track. people. I got it. I'm almost missing. So all I got to do is pick up my rod and y'all catch fish. Well, that's the secret then. Like Better than my telephone. Yeah. Look at that pretty a thing. A pretty one. A Delacroix special on right. them Sweetwater shrimp from what? The Sweetwater Marina? Poor Jack got sick this morning and couldn't come down. This one's for you. Hey, you come down to Sweetwater Marina? Stop at the land and ask Jack what's going on. He'll show you on the map, tell you how to catch him. And I'm telling you, you will appreciate it. Now, two weeks ago, there wasn't any shrimp out. Excuse me. Two weeks ago, there wasn't any trout out here. All of a sudden, they just showed up. Jack thinks they just resident trout. They just really started feeding as the water warmed up. Sandy, catch me about another party like that. I will. Swing him in a boat. He's gonna be close, but that's all right. Come on. 
sandy. Over 12. 12's a keeper, right? Yes, ma'am. I just picked my rod up when y'all catch fish and they quit biting. At it. I mean, uh, I'll catch another one. Every time I pick the rod up, they start biting. We got a few boats out and here. Then I got to go to the camera. Good try. Good try. Tell you're going to be a big guy out in a minute. Look, I got him lassoed. You got a good one. He wasn't getting off. No, Gary, you could have slept another 15 minutes. <laughs> I had it wrapped around his gills, his nose, his tongue. And hey, okay. we'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. Whoa, whoa. Bye bye. Yeah. Oh, who put the flow so low? Number 12. Ooh, that's a baby. That's a I don't baby. know if he's gonna make it. He might make it. Yeah, I see. He's, I think he's 11 in the window. Nah, he ain't gonna make it. He's a redfish, huh? I might have tail hooked him. Oh, he had a tail hook. Make 13? Marjorie's favorite color bait. Guess how many I got? I got one. <laughs> I'm, about to, I'm about to have to send out a little flare message. Send me some You wouldn't let me bring mine. I got a bunch of them. Fish on. Fish on. Rudolph. Hey, ooh, look, you barely limped. You barely limped, Katie. Hold on. Let me get this other glove on there. I almost put it out of his lip. That's why you gotta go fast. I don't know if he's gonna keep. He can close. Oh, that's 14 inches. That's 13 and a half. Yeah. I got the mitt on him. Let me check him. I said 13 and a half. Right at 13. be wrapping it up yet because I want you to look at this okay we are catching some serious 15 16 inch trout thank y'all for tuning in to Paradise Louisiana Gary thank you so much for just being who you are with us four horse car Chad let me tell you something Chad when you put this matrix shag on there with that jig head stuff's gonna happen we love you thanks for tuning in we'll see you somewhere down the road but Jack Payne 
Captain Jack Payne, Delacroix. It is on fire. This place is on fire. Woo. That's it. Great uh. fishing. The perfect event calls for the perfect spread of authentic Cajun cuisine. And Catering Cajun has the planners, packages, and chefs to ensure your event is long remembered. For weddings, corporate lunches, or anything in between, give us a call. Well, the reason why I would recommend him because he's trustworthy. And I mean, attention and love and respect of who you are, what you are, and the purpose why you came, he honors that. Once you're with Murphy, you got a friend. The best part about being a member of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative is that it's your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. For the thirsty, for those who hang out in packs, for heroes, for sidekicks, for those who see the glass half empty, for those who see it half full, for those on the right, for those on the left, for those with nicknames, for those with curves, for people that cycle, for people that recycle, for BFFs, for frenemies, for those with style, for lovers, for families, for big families, for everyone. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. Welcome back to Pure Bait and Tackle. And while we're talking about fishing, we got the big man on side of him. Something. He's, he's Captain Gene Hoover right now. And I, I still call him coach. He's a principal at one time at Lutcher High School. Uh, you're right down there. You're, you're fooling with athletes, but fishing athletes. You're a captain now. You fish. You, you're almost in heaven right now from doing what you're doing. Except for complaining this morning, say you could be with KD right now, and they're catching fish right now in Delacroix. So, you're a special guest. Thank you so much for coming today, Gene. Well, Mr. Gary, this uh, high school fishing with the Louisiana Bass Nation is one of the fastest growing sports in the nation, not just in Louisiana. And I think a big part of it here in Louisiana is due to you and Paradise Louisiana for getting the media exposure that we get. And, uh, you know, as you said, I just want to thank you publicly. We couldn't be what we are today without without you in Paradise, Louisiana. So well, I thank now, now we got all those thank yous out the way. We can talk about some fishing. Yeah, but we, we don't have to do it that much because I'm going to tell you what, Sam Barbera just walked in flashing. You know, that, that man crazy. That man crazy. Well, he used to say that on TV all the time, but so I guess it may be true. Look, I, I'm going to tell you this, though. We, what I do, it's on it's little compared. Joe Macaluso was really started out in a in a paper. He said, you know, we, and I'm sure y'all all gave him credit, but he, he covers the high school ports and he used to tell us when he was with us as as a co host and a partner. He said, Man, he said, uh, this is gonna grow and you're gonna see it. It's gonna be a sport in high school. These high schools are jumping on it. So yeah. tell us a little bit before we get started. Now we got a lot of tournament reports and stuff to do but yes sir tell us about this tournament right here as you you know this past weekend and and how is it growing and what are y'all doing to grow well mr. Gary I think the, the word is getting out that we can get these kids on the water and give these kids another option to stay at home and play on videos and stuff like that and get them out on the water and I think it really improves them as a student athlete just like any other sport would do and this tournament this past weekend I mean, we had, we in February, the whole week it was warm, the water was high, we had, you know, fog in the morning, south winds, I mean, the fish were moving up on the beds, and they, the people were everywhere were catching them. And then what happens when you have a tournament? A cold front blows through. So we had a cold front come through on Friday, and between Thursday and Saturday morning, the water dropped about 18 inches down in the uh, West Wego area, you know, in Bayou Signet and Lake Catawachi. And it really, I thought the fishing was going to be really tough for the kids. And for some people it was, but we had over 120 teams weigh in fish. Okay. 
So the, the, the kids still caught fish. Yeah, we, I had we had 150 some fishing. We had 60. 169 teams registered. 169 <laughs> registered and 12 junior yeah. teams. That's both east and west, right? They, they, that's, they just the, that's just the east. Right. Well, they were fishing the east, but yes, sir. none of the west people didn't come and we fish. Had, we had, yes, sir. We had some people come from the west that, that came and fished with us. But uh, it's, it was really unbelievable. I was surprised at the amount of fish that the kids brought to the scales. The upcoming year right now coming up. And by the way, while we're giving, you know, praise to the people and why this is going in, no, no, no better person to praise than the parents. Talk about it. Yeah, you go. Well, the way, the way we ran it, we had 169 of high school teams and we had 12 junior teams. That's uh, kids that are not in high school yet. And we let the high school uh, teams go out first. Uh, we blasted off at Safe Flight numbered order. And then, uh, then the junior teams went out but the junior teams came back in early. They had a 215 weigh-in, and uh, we went ahead and weighed their fish and got them prizes. And then the teams from Lutcher, Lutcher kind of dominated the top three on the junior side. Uh, the first place team from the Lutcher Junior Bass Masters, Jace Martin and Matthew Miliota, had four fish for 6.7 pounds, and uh, you know they won a. a a nice rod and reel combo you for each too kid. too bad on that Italian name. I, I always thought that was Miliota. That's, well, that's pretty close though. You uh, did good. If you, if you ask Caston, he'll tell you it's pronounced me in many ways. And then the second place team was also from Lutcher, was uh, Stephen Brignac and Cole DeSherry. And they caught one bass, but it weighed 4.61 pounds. So it was a beautiful fish. And uh, the little guy, Cole, was so happy. and. Uh, he won the big bass as well with that one fish. And then third place on the junior side was uh, Hunter Brignac and Titus Brumley, and they also from, uh, from uh, Lutcher Junior High. And they had one fish, and it weighed 4.58 pounds. So they just missed out on, on big bass. Yeah, so that, that wrapped up our juniors, and then when we finished the juniors. You have a lady fishing in that one too, huh? Uh, Victoria. Victoria, mm -hmm. the mayor. Yeah, I think they call her Bug. And, and Emma. Mm -hmm. yeah. Had a good little tea. That's good there. Now, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Go ahead. Hey, you knew Victoria was from Central. That's why you got that in there. Right. No, I didn't <laughs> notice it. I just, just, but go ahead. All right, then we moved to the high school part, and uh, we started weighing fish as soon as we finished with the juniors. And, Mr. Gary, I'm telling you, I didn't think I was going to make it. I needed somebody to come and take my place as weigh master because it was a long time weighing all those fish. And uh, when all the dust settled, we had uh, Brulee High School on top, Trent Touye and Dax Delapos with a weight of 16.72 with a big amazing. bass of 5.59. A beautiful stringer. And if uh, you know, Chris runs the picture when we're, when we're talking about this, you'll see him standing with uh, Sergeant Pitzer of the U.S. Army. And I just wanted to put a shout out for the U.S. Army, Mr. Gary, because uh, they just came on board to really help us with sponsorship for our scholarships and stuff that we give to the kids. And uh, we, had a, we, had a, we had a good a good turnout. And then second place from Live Oak High School, Wyatt Spring and Atlanta Moffat. And Atlanta's one of our female anglers. And they had five bass weighing 14.72 pounds. And then third place was uh, uh, Bronson Beck and Hanson Cheney. They all the way at the top. And that's Walker High School with a weight of 14.62. That's funny how we see them names all, all the time. Oh, the yeah. The Junior Southwest Bassmaster Tournament. Yeah, that's, those a, that's kids a, are, a great organization, Mr. Jim. And Mr. Jim and Miss Cindy have to get those kids ready. <laughs> They're getting ready. They're talking about national champions here. Oh, yeah. All right, go ahead. I'm and sorry. then fourth place, Vanderbilt Catholic, Nicholas Tamborella, and Braxton Bryan, five fish, 14.55. And then rounding out the top five, Live Oak High School, Kobe Bado and Tyler Jordan with a weight of 13.63. So uh, those are some. Coach, if you don't mind, can, yes, I, can I read some of them schools off that are participating real quick? Sure. You know, you just said Brulee. You know, mm -hmm. you said Brulee High School, Live Oak, Walker High School, Vanderbilt Catholic, and Live Oak again, Vanderbilt Catholic, St. Thomas More, St. John Curtis, Vanderbilt Catholic. The boy had a bunch of them there. St. Thomas More, LaFouche Bassmasters, Denham Spring, Notre Dame. Uh, E.D. White, yeah. East Baton Rouge uh, so, Bassmaster, Sulphur High School, Assumption High School, Ponchatoula, Zachary High School. You, you, just, you, you just keep pulling them in, Coach. It's what an amazing <laughs> job. And then what we do, Mr. Gary, after we finish the weigh-in and, and we give out the, the individual team awards, there's a school award. 
and it's really competitive among all our schools participating. And what we do, we take the, the weights from the top three teams from each school, and we add those up, and whoever has the most weight wins the team award, and they get a nice plaque to take back to their school and display till the next tournament. You know, uh, and we continue that all the way till the state tournament. And it was really close, probably the closest school award that we've had since we've been doing this because we had in third place as a school was Bruley with 37.6 and in second place was Vanderbilt Catholic with a weight of 38.43 and then just easing and uh, just barely edging those out was Live Oak High School and they were so excited those kids from Live Oak you know and they, they won the team award with a weight of 39.04. Yeah, well, I hope you sent me some pictures but Let's do this before we get off there. We're going to take a break right now. We'll come back with some more tournament results. Tell me right now, a high school looking, there are people looking all over the state right now. Yes, sir. How can they join? Is it too late to get in for this year, or can they get in in midterm or whatever and still participate? Well, where are we at, Mr. Gary? This was our second East qualifier. We have three East qualifiers and then the state championship and we also have three West qualifiers and then the state championship. So we still have uh, three more qualifying tournaments to go and the state championship. So you still have time. It's not too late to get in for those qualifiers. This, uh, this weekend, February 16th, uh, we'll be at Henderson at the Basin Landing for the West qualifier. And the water's been high, but it's falling. And, uh, Miss Christine over there tells me it's the fish are biting. So we'll see how those kids do. I'm sure they're going to catch Ooh, them. I better go to them. Exactly. Oh, yes, oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Go ahead and but, tell us how to get in touch with What's your website? The, the best way to, to get started, you give me a call, and uh, you can look up my, my number and information on our, web, on our Facebook page, which is Louisiana High School Bass Fishing. So if you go to Louisiana High School Bass Fishing, there's entry forms to join the tournament. Uh, and we're affiliated with Bass, so before you can fish with us to make sure we're covered with all insurances and everything, you need to go to Bassmaster website and sign up your school. And then you can simply go to our Facebook page, fill out an entry form, mail it to me, and get in some of these tournaments and start competing. That's it. That's it. Stay tuned. We'll be more with some more bass fishing results coming up and uh, some events that will be coming up pretty soon. So. We'll be right back. And you're watching Paradise Illusion. I can't imagine a day without music. You go downtown, you can find some music. You come uptown, you can find some music. Monday night, they got music. Every night of the week, there's music somewhere. Baton Rouge is a place where it's easy to make friends, it's easy to hear some music, and it's easy to come back. We got the music, we got the food, and we got good people, so... With that combination, you can't lose, right? Yeah, but come to lose and Ask me about my Tempur-Pedic. Ask me how fast I fall asleep. Why not talk to someone who's sleeping on the most highly recommended bed in America? Ask me about staying asleep. Tempur-Pedic owners are more satisfied than owners of any traditional mattress brand. Ask me how it feels after 10 years. Tempur-Pedic, the most highly recommended bed in America. Ask about Tempur-Pedic at Olin's, where you know you always get the guaranteed low price. Olin's is the only store in Baton Rouge and Lafayette with the full line of Tempur-Pedics. Back to Paradise, Louisiana, and uh, Captain Gene, we we in the second part of our rodeo and tournament report. You know, last year we had so many tournaments and rodeo every week. We had a little slack, but they starting up right now. Oh, there's first class. There's there's no excuse for not getting outdoors. And now and look, and I and I gotta mention uh, the big one, real to my heart, coming up in the first of March, first weekend in March, and we talking about the autism tournament. You know, that one's going to be a big, and we'll talk oh, yes, about sir. it more before we get off the air. You participated in another one yesterday. Yes, media. sir. Tell us about it. Well, Mr. Gary, after this high school tournament this past Saturday, I didn't know if I'd be able to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning to go fishing, but I found a, the will to do it. And uh, I hadn't been in the media organization for about four years. We used to fish it a while, and, and my, my friend really got me to get back in it. Uh, Chris Donaldson 
And Chris and I got together and we went out there and they had 73 boats that took off from Bayou Black Landing. And uh, when we came in, the fishing was very tough. We caught seven bass all day and ended up with a uh, 1036. And I put the bow on the trailer. We were heading off and I think uh, somebody called Chris and said, I think y'all got a check. So that's how tough the fishing was. I think 12 pounds something won the tournament. Uh, they hadn't posted the results yet, but you can check that out at MediaBass.com. And uh, it was just a tough day. Uh, I, I think those fish, the water's so high, I think a lot of those fish are really in the marsh and Bayou Black. I don't think they've moved in, into the canals yet. Well, that, that, that's a good thing. we got that coming up in our fishing report. We're going to talk about that, make sure it don't get too long. But uh, what, what was the top bait for y'all? Uh, we threw This time we, of year? And yeah, uh, we threw the chatterbait a lot, the uh, Delta Lures, uh, Thunder Jig. And uh, we've always had good luck at this time what of the color? year with it. It's varied colors, Mr. Gary. Uh, I like that green, white, and, and uh, blue, green, white, and blue skirt with a, a white trailer. And uh, that, that seems to work if, it's, if the water has a little stain to it. If it's clear, it's I like I got they, some things to tell you about when we get to If that. it's clear, they like that black one better. I, I want to tell you what KD was saying about you when we get to the fishing okay. report. Look, now I'm, I got this in here to talk to you about. Uh, and uh, we got the, the fishermen. men. They're coming in right now and they're starting up. Uh, Jimmy Charbonnet and Donnie Spurlock came in first at 1703. Jacob Munn and Marlon Carpenter, I guess yeah. that is, 1675. Vernon Silver and Jerry Butler at 15.51. Mike Scalise and Drake Lejeune at 15.19. Blake Burke and Joey Stein at 15.51. 14. My buddies and them, and uh, the, to come in 10th, Rusty Kepper and them had almost 13 pounds, and Nathan Reed, and, and, and they barely made the top 10. So they were all the way down. They were all, I can't tell you how many people had 12 pound stringers, and uh, they were fishing the Barrett area. So that means that's good. Oh, yeah, the fish really turned on in the Verrett area, Mr. Gary. I know a lot of those stringers came out the, the Crackerhead area and the different places around Lake Verrett, uh, this warm uh, weather. And, and I think what helped that, you know, unlike in Signet where the water dropped 18 inches, the water in Lake Verrett due to the high river uh, didn't fall out with that front that passed. And the fish, fish stayed up shallow. Well, look, I'm going to go back and talk again now. This, this big tournament coming up at Dry Rones uh, for the Merge Center. That's going to be an all-day affair. You can come there, they're going to have bands, they're going to have different things, but they're not going to be at Cabela's. They're going to keep it all right there. The way in and everything is going to be at Dry Rones. They're going to have special tents. They're going to have a building. So uh, it's going to be a little bit of different fishing now. You know, you can fish toward uh, Bayman Island. Right. But you, you, you can't go to buy a black market. Right. So, so it'll be a little bit different fishing. Look there, get signed up. Uh, it's for a great The cause. money's going to be there. So be a, always a big tournament, oh, always yeah. a awesome. fun tournament. So They uh, really run it well. If you, uh, you, even if you don't fish, just go by and, and check it out, and you won't be disappointed. All right. Then we got the Toledo Bend. We got the Bass Masters open. Something different about it. Todd Murray just told me he's one of them that's going to be fishing uh, Jimmy Charbonnet is yeah, going to be fishing that's it. Uh, oh, Homer Humphreys and a couple of them other guys will be fishing from here. The other local guys right now that jumped on the elite. And now, I'm talking yeah. about the elite. Uh, we just we, finished the elite tournament on the St. John's River out of Palatka, Florida. And we had two local guys did really well. Robbie Latuso, who led after the first day with a 25 pound stringer, ended up 10th for the tournament. So, congratulations to Robbie. And then, uh, uh, a rookie on the elite trail that that really has been helping us a lot with the high school fishing is Mr. Derek Hudnall and Derek ended up in his first tournament 32nd place so just a shout out to those guys. I'm gonna give a shout out to his daddy because we're talking about daddy taking him fishing. Yes sir. And uh, Roger Hudnall. Uh, you know I never realized well, I thought Roger was still young he's still fishing but you're talking about old Tom was still fishing? You know Todd Murray his daddy's still fishing yeah, talk, kind of talk, no. Talking about old timers is who won this tournament. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I just love what Rick Clunk said. He said, never think that your best days are behind you. 
and yeah. we could all live that way. Never think our best days are always in front of us, Mr. Gary. And 72 years old, and to beat the best fisherman in the age. world, Rick Clung did it. Yeah, Rick Clung won that tournament. He wants to do it. You can watch it on TV and uh, on the Pursuit Channel now. But, you know, and uh, Quentin Capo, Rusty, mm -hmm. you know, they were young one fishing the elite. Uh, he didn't finish the top 35, but I heard he caught some fish. So yeah, congratulations he, he, he to y'all guys. As well as I got well. one more. We got a kayak fishing invitation coming up. It's way away right now. It's on March 23rd. It'll be at Avondale for the scout. It'll be at the, the reservation there in Avondale on uh, Highway 10. And Clinton, if you want to find out more, go to info at the Struma Area Council, Boy Scouts of America, IACBSA.org. Find out more about it. Uh, real quick news right now, things came up. People have been sending me email. You know, we've been showing you what we've been doing. we got that hog tournament coming up uh, in a few weeks, February 22nd, 23rd, 24th in, in Abbeville. But feral hogs, a lot of people are, are doing what we tell them. They're trying to not annihilate them, but trying to eradicate them, okay, where they're causing a lot of problems. They need to be killing them and taking them away. But when you clean these hogs, the meat is good, but you've got to be careful. There, there's a disease out there that a lot of people get them when they clean them but not using rubber gloves. Right. You have to be real careful. You can find out more about the disease of going to the wildlife and fisheries and going to your, your different people. Go to the agriculture, Louisiana Agriculture website, and they will tell you more about it. Also, we got a, a bunch of CCA banquets and stuff to start coming up. Check their website, CCA West Bank. It's a good ways off on March 27th, but put it on your calendar. And if you want to find out more, call Randy Persina at 952-9200. So Louisiana lakes are polluted right now. They had a map came out. You can find them in the wildlife and fisheries and the other place at, uh, uh, what, what's the paper of the state? They check the water and everything. Environmental quality. Environmental quality. Right now, fish are not to be eaten in some of these lakes. That's a serious problem. You that better check serious. them out. Louisiana lakes are polluted right now. So, and that's the news. We'll be back with a full hunting fishing report. Benny's Unlimited Wash Club memberships start at $14.99 a month. Wash, rinse, and repeat every day. Join Benny's Unlimited Wash Club at one of Benny's seven locations. The perfect event calls for the perfect spread of authentic Cajun cuisine. And Catering Cajun has the planners, packages, and chefs to ensure your event is long remembered. For weddings, corporate lunches, or anything in between, give us a call. Fishing. It's where good stories come from. It's about good times and family and friends. It's about taking a couple home for dinner tonight and saving a few for tomorrow. It's all about that and so much more. To CCA, fishing is about enjoying today and making sure tomorrow is even better. To us, fishing comes with a responsibility for the resources we enjoy so much. If fishing means all that to you, then you belong with CCA. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. Berkeley Abu Garcia fishing and hunting report right now. And I don't know why we're calling it a hunting report because there's not much left. They're almost. But uh, talking about goose season is open right now and a conservation order. And everybody that ever hunts goose know what that is. Nobody will see it. Goose, guess what? They showed up last week and they got some people who showed up in Crotch Springs or anywhere. Crotch Springs down in the Gaydon area. A few geese have been showing up, snows and Ross geese, the only one eligible right now. So uh, you get a chance to go do a right hunt. Here's a picture that, that Brent Rollins sent me. He, he was up in Angelina, and they were trying to do one. They put out all these flags, did it was supposed to. He, he didn't get many results. So it isn't moving around. You never know. Some people out there at Port Barry, they, they were uh, doing a youth hunt. They saw a few geese coming in. They, they wouldn't set up right, I guess, but uh, I'm not getting a whole lot of report. And Captain Jody Dunwall, he, he, he about ready to go back to Empire. He better be going back and giving us He had a good hunting season. Yeah, but he had a pretty good hunting season. He killed, he killed three 
three bucks, three does, and, and, and a hog. So, I would say so he didn't kill no ducks, though, like he normally does. And he's very disappointed in that. But I could tell you, uh, Mr. Gary, yesterday when we were out in Bayou Black fishing, they were burning up some rabbits. They were on those hills, and uh, the whole time we were fishing, we heard people shooting. You know, we hunted those ridges all our life. We used to do both. When we were fishing a tournament, you could see them dogs. Them guys would go to the back of the canal, and they'd drop the dogs off, and they'd run them toward, toward the main canal. Mm -hmm. And we'd be fishing, and you hear them dogs. I'm going to imitate them, them rabbit dogs <laughs> for you one day. But, uh, yeah, rabbit season's open. I might be making one Wednesday with some friends of mine, so uh, I might be bringing you more of that. But uh, and also squirrel season right now. Uh, if I can get in touch with Carlton Savoir, we'll bring y'all a squirrel hunter too. Let's go to fishing right now. You ready to go to freshwater? Yes, sir. You've been in all these tournaments. I got a few little private slews and stuff I can talk about, but go ahead. I can tell you, now's the time to be freshwater fishing. The bass are in pre-spawn, and in some places they've actually moved up on the bank already, and they usually feed pretty actively in the pre-spawn time. So if you want to catch a, a, a bass of a lifetime, now's the time to get out there. We talked a little bit about the Bayou Signet tournament. And you know, those uh, high school kids weighing in five fish, 16 pounds, that's some awesome fish. They had over five bass that weighed over five pounds. Uh, all those bass are full of eggs. And you know, all we ask is if you happen to catch one of these big females, take some pictures. If you need to, get a replica made. But please, put them back in the water because that's our future. Yeah, why are you talking about that? Uh, the Zalmas, I'm gonna say them one more time. Every time I talk to somebody, I say, where the Sackley? Are they asking me? Where the Sackley? Well, I hear the Zalmas. Yeah, the Zalmas. There's a lot of places in that area right now catching fish. You tell me by black, they're catching bass. If they're catching bass, you can find some Sackley. Yes, sir. Now, one of my big by black fishermen, John Tomplay, he found a sloop, okay? And he went over there in a little lake in a little pond. It was a bit. He didn't want to call it a private find, but he says what you got to do to get there. But he's ready to go to Bob Black because he's been hearing the same thing. John Tomplay sent me these pictures of these big, these, these sacrilege. It was like what they've been catching in the feet. People catch them off the back of these canals in the feet. Right. And, and those areas right now, they're catching bass and catch them on live shiners. Some are fishing them off the bank or they're getting in little bateaus and going to these canals and they're catching them on live shiners. If they catch them on live shiners, I'm sure you can catch them on spinnerbait and other things. So this is there is Lafitte, and then uh, and by Black. This yeah. is my favorite and right they now. Still, they're still biting by Lake Buff. Lake Buff, there you go. Yeah, they, I, I, I know people that have gone in that Lake Buff area and they're still doing well. But I, I need there. to go do a trip with the crappy that, That's where he goes all the time and he always catches. I know, look, Carson Holland, my neighbor, the, the young man that goes to St. Alphonse and lives in the su subdivision right across from my house, fishing the subdivision lake. You look at the size of this cycle that he's been coughing. Keep fishing, Carlson. What a great job. Let's, let's move over. Now, freshwater, you ain't got anything else. I know up north of Louisiana. I know Toledo Bend, they're catching fish, but they're all getting ready for these tournaments. And don't be some of them lunkers. You know, they've been catching lunkers right now. Oh, they yes, seven now, lunkers. Now's coming. the time to catch a fish over 10 pounds. That's it. You better get up there and get ready now. Saltwater, inshore. I'm going to get you started. Oh, inshore, it, it's like uh, Mr. Gary had a few charters there in the fall, and it was tough to find the speckled trout in the Delacro area. We had no problem finding redfish. You catch all the redfish you want, but it was really tough on the speckled trout. And it seemed like you had to go by the the Mr. Go or somewhere around Shell Beach, I hope Dale to get on a good speckled trout uh, bite. Of course, in Grand Isle, you know, I don't think they ever quit biting. But just this past week, we've had good reports, and you and KD went, and he's out there today. And for some reason, the speckled trout have moved in. That's right. And they're nice. They ain't no monsters, but they're nice, too. Yep. We didn't have too many calls when it was there. Uh, in the feet there, Tofield and all those captains over there doing well, too. And they're catching bear, and they're going in a place catching, but just, they're catching redfish in almost any way you want to go right now. And I, I got a mixed bag right here. Captain Maurice Darkwing, Maurice sent me them, and uh, you can see he's catching them. They catch them on a, well, it's amazing. No, they're catching some fish on right now. What's that? Cut, cut, huh? 
What's that? What they catching them on? Cockahoe minnows. Live cockahoe oh, yeah. minnows. Oh, yeah. Undercock. They started with the redfish. The speck well, to hitting them too. We went down last Monday. We went down to uh, Bayou B Avenue, and we uh, we caught over a limit of bass. We had ten reds and we caught ten specks. And the, the few specks that we caught were spitting up minnows. So I think the shrimp, the, the majority of the shrimp, had moved out, and I think they've switched to minnows. I think that's what most of the fish are eating Yeah, I want to catch some bass. KD was going to take me to catch some bass because he heard y'all. And then all of a sudden, these trout show up. He says, we better catch the trout while they're here. We didn't catch but one redfish. But well, yeah. we, we used you know, a you know, basic You know you have to come with me to catch some cut. bass, Mr. Gary. Uh, last time I went with you, That's we had right. a good duck hunt, and then we went and caught some bass. That's right. I, I can't wait to go with catch some bass. Uh, Island Marina, the same report she's been getting. Uh, they had a death in the family the other day. Miss Angie didn't give me a full report. But Clint the almost all her captains and them are going out catching all the redfish you want. But uh, they still ain't wait. Sam Barbera just came in and he spent a lot of time in Ponce Train. I heard they'd catch some on trussels. Not. Not. A lot of people are going out there right now and fishing. It, it is still having a hard time finding clear. But in, in Island Marina, Lake Captain, Lake Bourne, and like you saying, all, the all rocks those right there. Yeah, all those custody. All those custody. Intercoastal and Mr. Go. All of them have fish on them. And Delacro, just call Jack. You know what amazes me about some of these captains? They don't want to tell you nothing. You call Jack, and if he He'll his captains are full most of the time, but he's going to tell you what area. He ain't going to put you on the exact spot. I tell you, he's going to tell you what to look for, where to turn, and where to go. Call them marinas and give them a shot. And uh, if you don't know where to go and you want to make you sure, you call him, KD. They're all God service. They stay up. They got a network. So that's our fishing report this week. I got to run. Where are you going? I'm sorry. I'm going. You, man. You I, going think, fish? I think you I'm going, going fishing, Mr. Gary. You going to meet, Katie? <laughs> no, not today, but uh, I, tomorrow if it don't rain, I'll be out there. Well, I was worried about that weather. I'm going to make that rabbit hunt, and then I'm going to see Jack myself. You watching Paradise, Louisiana? There's been a lot of serious accidents lately. And people got snow up there, and you're driving, there's fog, there's weather. Please be safe. Keep watching Paradise, Louisiana. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K. Murphy Law Firm. Veterans Help Foundation. Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change. Louisiana Fish Fry Products. Demco. CCA Louisiana. And the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament. Louisiana State Parks. Relief Windows. Visit Baton Rouge and by Farm Bureau Insurance.